So today in this beautiful day in Los Angeles, July 2023, we're going to talk about top of the line for the Lexus and it's not going to be RC or LF, that's going to be LX570 and that's the top of the line for 2016 Lexus. There is nothing more uh, luxury, there is nothing more expensive for the luxury at that time. As of right now, you cannot buy something more luxurious than LX. But there is a slight difference between the new body, whatever for sale, if you can find one, and whatever used to be available, and right now it's only available as a used car. That's the V8, uh, fully dinosaur, I would say. And this era of V8, it just already gone. I mean, there is no more V8 cars going to be. I think in the next future, they might going to redo it again, but I don't think so. So those that engines the one is available right now you can buy it for cheap if you do have a project i would say buy it because they just gonna go more expensive every day every year and you're gonna see it my, mark my words so what we're getting for this beautiful lx at the time of 2016 you can't compare with something else like that because if you're going to take the mercedes if you're going to take bmw gl you just cannot if you can park it next to the lx you're gonna see what the lx much bigger and much nicer than the mercedes so what are we getting we get in the huge like i say v8 engine which is never gonna die the transmission it's a super durable i mean you're not gonna do the super high end off-roading but for your luxury driving daily it's gonna be more than enough i think for 10 plus years maybe even more and the mileage about 300,000 you can make easily on the same engine and transmission. We are getting adjustable suspension, which is going up and down. We are getting the huge wheels and tires. We're not getting huge brakes for some reason. It, it is a brakes. I mean, they're kind of okay. I'm not understanding. I do not understand why they never use the Brembo brakes on those kind of cars because it's a super heavy and you want to stop sometimes. So what I can tell when you when I'm checking the cars like that, it's used, it is expensive. Even right now, this kind of car, you're probably going to pay about 60, 65,000 with 60,000 miles, 60 plus thousand miles in the car. It is still kind of expensive unit. If you want to get some points for yourself before you buy this kind of car, just go around, check it out if the car was painted, how the paint job was done, check it out what kind of tires this car has. So for example, we do have this car and the front tires is Yokogama, Yokogama and the rear tires it's a Toyo. So for some reason somebody put different type of tires, probably one of them, two of them worn out and they just put whatever sides was available. So the owner of the car for some reason didn't care about what's the brand going to be, is it going to match or dismatch it. So I would say it's not good, so I would pay more attention for the car like that. Besides that, when you buy the used car or you buy an expensive car, you can check the windows, you can check the windshield, what kind of brand is that, if it's been replaced, if it's the original one or it's a Chinese one. Because the Chinese one, it's much cheaper. I mean, I'm not going to talk about all the parts, but the windshield, it's one of the most important part for your daily driving car. Again, when it's sunny, when it's rainy, doesn't matter. Your windshield, it's affecting a lot. Plus the Chinese, it's not straight. It's kind of wavy and you might not going to feel the difference right now, but on a long drive, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it so strong because your eyes, you just cannot see it anymore because it's wavy. So basically your eyes, it just over tired just because you looking through the windshield. I mean, it's not the point, but it is a point, especially when you buy an expensive car. So it is a beautiful itself from any corner of this car. It is a beautiful headlights, LED. So the design of this car over the years, they've been changing a little bit, but at least they put the huge grill like the BMW style, but they made it as a F Sport Lexus. So those kind of radiator grills, they are available on the IS, NGS and some other one, but they looks like F Sport. So LX, they just put top of the line, whatever they can make. So they didn't do it like regular one base. They didn't do it optional. They just put it the big one, whatever huge one available was at that time. 
So because it's a huge car, it's a huge SUV unit, you can do whatever you want to do. So you want to jump on the roof, you want to open your sunroof and jump on the roof from there, you can do so. It is a super nice and durable car. All the doors, the quality, at least the quality of the handles, they are much nicer than the Tesla. So the door panels, they're all solid. They're all kind of pieces, you know, uh, it's not falling apart. It's not making any noise, especially when you're driving inside the car. It's just nice. Lexus made the job and uh, it's worth it. I mean, whatever money used to be when the car was brand new, whatever money right now you have to pay for the used unit, it's worth it. So the old Alexis, even 2000, 2001, they still worth money with low mileage, high mileage. You still cannot find it for 5,000. There is no way. Even 300,000 miles on the old LX, old and cruiser, they're going to be around 10,000. Just check your Craigslist local and you're going to see what I'm talking about. So is it worth it to buy it? I mean, for the family, if you have enough money to support this car with good premium gasoline every day about 50 60 dollars for sure i would buy it why not i mean your wife gonna enjoy it or your husband your kids your parents whoever gonna sit in the car they're gonna appreciate this luxury beautiful suv it's super nice it's super spacious car it's easy to get inside from any door even on the third road seat you still can jump from the back door easily because all the seats, they move, they moving forward easily. So you're going to have a lot of access for your seven and six seat. So while I'm driving this beautiful LX 470, that's just insane how roomy spacey this car is. Besides the passengers, I mean, there is a seven seat, seven passengers. You can, you can fit anyone. All your parents, all your friends, your kids, whatever you want to, whoever you're going to put in the car or whoever want to jump in the car, they're all going to feel much comfortable than any other SUV because it is a LX570. So we do have this uh, beautiful worldwide famous uh, Mark Levinson sound system. So it's been with Lexus, I would say forever, because any Lexus from 90s I know, they all do have the same sound system and it's just insane. I mean, they're always improving, they're always putting more uh, speakers everywhere, under the seats, you know, on the roof, on the sides, indoors and dashboard everywhere. And it just sounds so nice. So any music you're going to play, whatever you like, you like Beyonce or you like the, the Kiss, you're going to play it, you're going to love it. You're going to love the song and you're going to love the sound system on this car. So what about the suspension? Suspension is just kind of soft because it's a huge SUV. So it is a hydraulic, I think so. Yeah, it's not automatic. It's still hydraulic system uh, suspension. You can lift it up or lower it down. If you're driving it on the freeway, it's going to lower itself on a higher speed. But can you do real off-roading on this car? I mean, I wouldn't say so because you can lift it up so high and you can go over some stuff, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't think about to take somewhere like I'm taking the Jeep and go over the rocks because you're going to scratch the car. You're going to break some things on it and the step sides and, you know, the fenders, whatever it's on the car, it's just a luxury Toyota piece. So it's not your daily driving off-road unit. It's just a car you have to appreciate because this car appreciating you a lot as a driver, as a passenger, you are getting a lot of comfortable things you have a cool heated seats you have a big screen you have a rear entertainment on this car but besides all the features whatever on the car right now this car it's an investment if you're gonna buy it and keep it drive it for a period of time but you're not gonna drive it as a daily daily car so you're not gonna put a lot of miles on it this car gonna appreciate its value and over the years you're probably going to sell it about the same money whatever you pay when the car was brand new or sometimes you can pay you can sell it for even a little bit more uh there is a secret it's not a secret i mean if you're going to buy the new one right now you're not going to buy the same because it's 2016 obviously the v8 5.7 engine same as the tundra used to used to have uh but right now they all switch to 3.5 v8 
twin turbo engine lexus call 3.5 but in reality that's 3.4 twin turbo engine so all the huge units for toyota lexus they are getting the same engine and the lexus the one i ordered gx the new one i think it's gonna have exactly the same engine as the new one but not this one so this car same as the engine it is a dinosaur it is a dinosaur because those v8s they're not gonna exist anymore i think everybody gonna switch to the uh more efficient engines more eco friendly v6 twin turbo i don't know where is that car uh find that eco stuff but again i i think it's not that eco because it's gonna burn more gas on a twin turbo engine than this one so the engine is super smooth you cannot even hear it when you step on the gas it just like nothing going on your car going fast even more faster but your engine just going so smooth so unnoisy it's just insane so in even the older one lx or ls lexus as i drove before with a lot of miles on the car like 200 plus thousand miles the engine was running super nice and super smooth you can put like you know there is a, a lot of short videos how the people put in the uh cup with water on the top of the engine and it starts shaking at all that's what's going on when you're driving inside the lexus especially if you're driving lx 570 so it is a luxury suv that's for sure any detail whatever you're gonna check whatever you're gonna touch it is a leather it's a nice the steering wheel it has 60 plus thousand miles on the car but the wear and tear it just it's just cool i mean the steering wheel itself it's not losing any paint it's not ripping off that uh, the wood piece wood plastic piece on the top they used to crack and i think it's going to crack but not right now it's going to be later on so the dashboard not squeezing the leather sitting tight it's not the leather i'm so sorry but anyway uh dashboard feeling itself really good so the door panels it's not tinted you can see there is a lot of sun going inside the car but it's not damaging interior like mclaren that's cool that's what i like and uh but it's a quality what about the seats the seats they are kind of wear and tear because again lexus they using soft leather it's super nice super soft but when it's a new car i mean over the years it's gonna show itself but right now it's still feeling really good even this car seven years old it's still cool so what about the multimedia the central multimedia you can see all those buttons they are kind of related i don't know who steal it the gm for the cadillac or lexus from gm but someone i mean or maybe it was the same designer so they because this one reminded me exactly the the cadillac escalate about the same years 2017 19 all the buttons even the temperature switches they are exactly the same not exactly the same not identical but they are looks the same so somebody choose that kind of design for both cars i don't know how they are related but looks like they are so if you compare this huge suv with any other suv for example range rover ah uh, range rover you're not gonna buy it i mean if you're buying it you have to be prepared again if you're okay like most of the people who's buying range rover they are driving it with all the lights on the dashboard with all the all the problems whatever car has they keep driving that car doesn't matter what because it's a range rover it is your status icon car it's not i mean the lexus you buying it the people usually sell on lexus is just because they're getting tired of it so not because it's breaking up constantly just because they get it tired you know okay i had this car for five years three years seven years nothing going on i changed the brake parts brake pads like twice uh for five years i change the oil once a year and the car nev nothing nothing going on i mean nothing breaking up uh it's not giving me a problem it started up all the time i want to go somewhere even this car sitting like half year i'm coming starting and it's going so people just get tired of that they want something like bmw or they want a second wife back uh, basically they want something to spend money on because the lexus it's like the old man who doesn't need any money and uh he's not asking for money he's just asking for sometimes attention you know just give me attention start me up sometimes you know drive me around and park it back it's okay i'm gonna see it there and i'm not gonna bug in you so that's cool that that's the car you're gonna get if you buy an lx can you buy it right now i mean this car with that kind of mileage 60 70 000 miles 2016 it has a lot of different features so it's not the base model because rear entertainment never comes on a base model you have to add it optionally but again 
on the base model it was impossible to add rear entertainment so it's a luxury plus or whatever it is premium plus premium i didn't check it to be honest with you because i do not care and uh but what i do care I do care about the value for the car because every time if I'm buying a used car, besides if I want to sell it right now or I want to sell it later on, this kind of unit, you don't care and I don't care either because I can let it sit on the lot for two, three years and drive it myself and sell it later on even for more money than right now because this engine v8 it's it is on demand right now and it's going to be on more demand because the people are going to recognize they don't want a turbo engine the turbo engine just going to give me turbo problems so this engine natural inspiration v8 it was improved over the years so since like 2000s uh from the 90s on the ls on the lx it was kind of the same engine so yeah there is a who's that engine they redesigned it they redo something this and but in general that's the same idea v8 engine the short block it's the same uh if you're not believing me just google it check it out hmm interesting so you buying this car as investment you buying this car as a enjoyable piece of your auto park if you do have one and uh, if you do have a lot of money and you are buying a lot of sport cars you know exotic cars buy one lx buy the new one or slightly use one the older v8 engine just keep it because I would say it's a nice piece of the history which might not going to be exist anytime soon because everybody's switching to EV. Can I compare this car if we're going to compare same car 2016 with like BMW. BMW X7 was not exist at that time so X5 we're not comparing with this car because X5 it's just not the car if you compare it with Lexus. Can I compare G Wagon with this one? No I cannot because G Wagon it's a car for show up. It's not the car to enjoy it. It's not the car for the family. It's a car you're gonna wrap it. You're gonna put the nice ugly Chinese rims on it black or green or any on any rims you want so you're going to be g-wagon guy on a g-wagon uh, uh gold watches or gold chains but i can compare this car with gl gl 550 gls like the one i uh, used to have it was sold uh so i can compare with those cars those cars just insane it's super nice but again mercedes am i going to give you problem on oil leak it might going to give you problem with the turbos with the motor mounts transmission mounts transmission sometimes going to go bad maybe your reprogramming stuff your alternator a battery some kind of things going to go bad on your mercedes but on the lexus nothing going to go bad i think you're going to die before this car going to break down and completely stop from driving it So for example you bought this kind of car and your kids they are joined football team so you're coming over on the weekend or after work and you want to bring all your kids and whatever stuff for the football they do have besides all the stuff you can bring the full football team inside your car so there's a seats available on demand you can basically put them down that's super cool as always there is a lot of cup holders so you can put all the sodas around so you can put the, all the football team inside the car and they can put their own drinks uh, you do have a climate control on the back and it's kind of huge seats i mean you can sit yourself and it's gonna be so so comfortable for you but still i mean seven seats full size they're just insanely cool now I want to go up nice super easy super nice what about the, what about the color and materials materials inside the car they just luxury top of the line for the Lexus I mean usually 2016 2017 RXs or ISs I see on the market or when I'm buying it the leather kind of already tired they, they already kind of worn out a little bit on the corners especially on the driver's seat but this one maybe they're using just slightly different leather for the LX for the top of the line but uh, the driver's seat is still in good condition there is not so many uh wheels and tears on it but uh the third row seat the second row seat it's like brand new the leather it just amazing color combination white on kind of reddish brown i would say it just super nice i like it i love it so much but for my daily driving car it's just so much 
so much car for me. It's super huge. I don't need it. I don't like to park it. Uh, that kind of car on the street or somewhere in the parking lot because it's a huge car. But it's cool sometimes to drive it with the family, uh, with your kids, with a lot of stuff. You can do camping. If you don't like camping outside, you can do camp inside. And uh, that's cool also. I mean, all this is going to go down. You're just going to lay inside and sleep overnight or maybe two nights. What about off-roading? I mean, off-roading, I never done it myself, especially on this car. I don't want to because it's not that kind of car. I would take somewhere up on the hills or somewhere in the sand. I just don't want to try it. I know what's the car designed for and I'm not going to use it for something else. Uh, but it is a beautiful. For some reason, this kind of car, especially Lex, it was not so popular on the East Coast. I mean, it was not so popular on the West Coast, Los Angeles, but it is still so much popular on the East Coast, New York, New Jersey, those kind of states. Maybe because they do have a full winter and snowy winter, not like we have it only in the mountains, but it is a popular and a lot of cars right now for sale. You're mostly going to see it somewhere in Pennsylvania, somewhere in New Jersey, New York. Most of them, not all of them. Some of them here, but for some reason, people here don't like it as much as the East Coast. Maybe that's why they were not selling it. Huge amount of cars here. Again, it's a kind of expensive for the gas because 50, uh, 50, 60 dollars a day for the gas. That's what's going to cost you if you're going to drive it daily to your work, back, pick up the kids, go do the grocery, maybe a little bit less, but still it's kind of expensive. And the California, Los Angeles gas right now, it's about between 520, 550 a gallon. So, which is kind of insanely too much because the people not making so much money to spend that much money on the gas, much and much and much. So there is a much more about this car. You can Google it, but it's a short review from my experience, from my opinion. It is a nice car, beautiful one. You have the money, buy it, why not? If you want to ask me something about this or about something else, just comment below, put some thumbs up and I'll see you later, guys. Thank you so much.